everyone. I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. It was supposed to be like any other fishing trip. James and his brothers loaded up the boats with their nets and set out into the evening to catch what they could. Hours went by and there was nothing, not a fish in their nets. Then a stranger invited them to try one more time. Hesitant at first, they went back out to try. It was this moment that started James and his brothers on the journey of a lifetime to follow Christ as his first disciples. Their nets were overflowing with fish, threatening to sink them on the spot. They couldn't resist the invitation to become fishers of men. James the Greater went on to follow Christ throughout his life of ministry, where he witnessed Jesus' transfiguration on Mount Tabor, was in the Garden of Gethsemane before the Passion, and even spread the gospel following the resurrection throughout Israel, Rome, and eventually Spain. St. James also fell short along the way, seemingly perverting power and authority of the church. He wanted Jesus to call down fire on Samaritans just because they refused to host them. He also argued about who would get to sit at the right hand of Jesus in heaven. And to top it all off, he fled in fear in the garden when Jesus was led off to be crucified, only to see his teacher and friend after the resurrection. The actions of St. James wouldn't necessarily make me immediately think he was the greater, and he was simply given the title to differentiate between St. James the Lesser, who was another famous apostle. What his actions do show is that he was a human, trying to know Christ, to figure out what exactly the Son of Man desired for his church. He fell, just as so many Christians and leaders of the faith before us have, but he still went on to proclaim the good news until his martyrdom. He became the first martyr of the faith in 44 AD, when he was beheaded by King Herod Agrippa for preaching the story of salvation he had come to live and know firsthand. St. James wasn't permitted a burial, so some of his fellow Christians took his body to Compostela, Spain, where they had ministered for years. The cathedral he was eventually put to rest in became a popular pilgrimage destination, prompting Pope Leo to declare it a shrine. He was so beloved by the Spanish armies that they would cry out Santiago or St. James as they rushed into battle. I want to wrap up today with a prayer to St. James that I invite you to use in your own prayer time today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O glorious Apostle St. James, who by reason of thy fervent and generous heart was chosen by Jesus to be a witness of his glory on Mount Tabor and his agony in Gethsemane, thou whose very name is a symbol of warfare and victory, obtain for us strength and consolation in the unending warfare of this life, that having constantly and generously followed Jesus, we may be victors in the strife and deserve to receive the victor's crown in heaven. St. James the Greater, patron of pilgrims and soldiers, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.